So I can't say I'm surprised, but Darius Jackson has denied he abused actress Kiki Palmer. As we discussed last week in the midst of custody dispute over their infant son, Leo, Kiki Palmer and her partner Darius found themselves embroiled in a heated confrontation that escalated quickly. Darius recounted a tense encounter at her residence where he says he arrived to pick up his son as agreed upon through text. However, he says his son wasn't present, leading to a confrontation between himself and Kiki. Now matters intensified when Kiki involved her mother, Sharon, who allegedly hurled threats at Darius, including a menacing declaration of putting a bullet to his head. Darius shared the audio of Sharon saying this to him exclusively with TMZ. Where's my baby? You better, you better watch out. Where's you might get a bullet in your mother. This violent interaction between Darius and Kiki was also captured. And as reported earlier, Kiki submitted the visual footage via her security camera and was then granted a restraining order against Darius. Now, despite Kiki's claims in the visible altercation, sources close to Darius have told media that law enforcement responding to the incident found no substantial grounds for Darius's arrest relating to domestic violence. No report was filed. Well, that's Darius's side. And I will say women who are abused or not always protected well by law enforcement. But moving on, the situation deepened as Darius's mother also has gotten involved, reacting to Sharon's alleged threat against her son. Darius's mother reached out to Sharon via text concerning the alarming statement made during the confrontation. And this is what she had to say. She said, hello, Sharon, how are you? I have tried not to get involved in my son's personal business, but I heard that you were going to put a bullet in my son's head. Well, then now we have to involve the authorities because you don't respect or value yourself and I can see that now in my son's life. You might have to, all of us, I will file a police report on you now. And then Sharon replied via text saying, please do not contact me with this ridiculous childish behavior. Your son choked his own sister, deal with his anger issues. If he attacks my daughter in her own home where she pays the bills, he is trespassing and anything can happen so he should stay away. You should be very ashamed to have raised a man who fights women. Sharon also responded to the leaked phone call of her yelling and allegedly threatening Darius. And this is what she had to say here. She said she feared for her daughter Daughter's life and she added you will hear him being told to leave several times the point where I am cussing came in after two minutes of him refusing to leave Sharon also claimed that Jackson recorded her illegally as he did not have her consent which is required under California law she further alleged that Jackson does not care about the law and most abusers don't care about the law and as I said before, I'm continuing to keep Kiki lifted, hoping she gets through this ordeal unharmed and that she and her son can move on and live a happy life and also get some counseling on what she has experienced so that she can hopefully prevent herself from experiencing this again. Now, as for Darius, again, he denies the abuse allegations, but if it's true, I hope he too gets the counseling and perhaps anger management he needs so that he hopefully no longer abuses women. Now, in other news, Tamar Braxton took to her Instagram yesterday to address the Krishan Rock and James Wright issue. Now, for quick background, Krishan has been accused of assaulting James, who's Tamar's friend and background singer. She apparently assaulted him backstage during the Tamar Braxton concert. Krishan allegedly was to be a surprise performer at the concert, and what started as a fun moment quickly went left when her time on stage didn't go as expected. This calls for a heated, disagreement backstage that left James harmed and hospitalized. But I was supposed to perform and that was that. Uh, oh, the more famous I get, the more tricky to get. Um, I did have my team there, uh, but it wasn't like we was in her room together. I went alone and stuff. So uh, yeah, y'all saw how I was on live. I was by myself. I wasn't with my team. My team was outside waiting just wait until, I don't know, it was time to work, you know? So that's what that happened. All this other false narrative saying this happened, she did that. I don't know what that. Krishan, meanwhile, has deactivated her social media accounts after this news broke. Here is a clip of Tamar confirming the assault. Um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him 
And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and then it was by Krishan. But I didn't have an opening act. I knew. I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited. Someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing. I didn't call Krishan to open up for me. Um, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion, right? And I was like, oh, it'd be cool if you, if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people, you know, Baltimore sisters. And that's really what I was thinking. Um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you. Um, and I also want to acknowledge Krishan. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know, I, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister, you know, to you. And that was my only objective of you coming. Um, I had no other plans. I didn't want to set you up. I didn't tell nobody not to play your music. I didn't, I just want everybody to come and have a good time. And that is really the spirit of it all. Um, but I have to acknowledge my team because my team has been traumatized. And especially James, he was assaulted and he was hurt. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish she would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that, you know, anybody, any of us wanted to use you for height. I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. And let me just tell you how amazing James is. Like, No matter how he's feeling, he told me today, he was like, you know, when she hit me, I just feel like I just wanted to hug her. She'd be like. I'm just really sorry that it all happened. And Tamar also hit up her Twitter, and this is what she had to say here. She said, I'm tired, y'all. I don't know about this part two tour. We are all hurting, and if I didn't say anything, I'm wrong. I said something and I'm lying. I'm tired. Meanwhile, James is at the dentist getting new teeth. Y'all leave me alone. I was going to try to show CR love. I still think she needs hugs and real people. Now for me personally, I like how Tamar is acknowledging the pain of her team, particularly James, but also acknowledging the pain Krishan must be going through to allegedly react as she did simply because she didn't perform. That's a deeper issue. Yes, we can go in on people online, but ultimately people are human beings who may be dealing with issues unspoken and they then act out and ultimately may harm others in the process. Now that's no excuse for her alleged behavior, but I do like that Tamar and apparently James acknowledges that Krishan's issues are bigger than this unfortunate incident. But one thing needs to be clear, even if you are in person or turmoil, you don't put your hands on people, period. But what are your thoughts on this and the Kiki Parma update? Share your thoughts below.